Residents of Kaplamai village in Wasengishu County say they walk on water. Well, let's say they walk on reeds that have grown in the Charal Dam. They sway with the bouncing of the springy surface they are walking on, but the looks on their faces say a lot about the fear deep inside them. Marcy Kandir has a story. From a distance, the reeds can be seen to have covered more than two-thirds of the Cherar Dam in Wansingishu County. Only a part of the waters can be seen. <laughs> but when you look closer, you see how these same reeds are used as a bridge by the residents to get across the dam. <laughs> dubbed the bouncing bridge, one that shakes and moves with each step. <laughs> Cecilia Keme and Gogo Alfina say, though risky, it's the preferred and shortest route for them. Cecilia has to visit her aging mother daily, a trip that will not cost her money but guts and faith. You have to be very tactful to make a successful crossover. The rainy season, however, brings with it more dangers with the rise of water levels. It's a route that changes every day, we are told. One has to be very cautious because the grounds keep shifting. Mze Cheserek shows us just how deep this part is. Cows graze on the dam. They too know their path. Our crew learned the hard way as every misstep led to a sunken foot. It's a path for those who over time learned the tricks and tucked to getting to the other side in one piece. It takes a lot of guts to get to understand what residents here go through on a daily basis on this bouncing bridge to get from one location to another. What I have been told takes a lot of guts and is not for everyone. Masi Kandia KTN, Charar, Wasingishu County. Masi Kandia there with the bouncing bridge. The residents say it's the shortest route yet the most dangerous.